Welcome back to the locker room on Franchise Sports Media. We are back inside the Players Lounge at the Fertitta Complex. And uh, joining us right now is UNLV receiver, Ricky White. How you My man. How you doing? I'm great, brother. I'm good. Man, so, all right, let, let's start at the beginning, man. Like, uh, let's start in high school. Obviously, you and Harrison played ball together. Um, what was it like having that connection in high school with Harrison initially? It was very, very good. Um, so I actually went to a, a school before that. Harrison re recruited me from that school to play with, you know, around him and the, the guys around him. Um, it was a real good team. So, you know, that year we went on a, a, a run. Um, everybody had good chemistry, even on the decent side, playing both sides. So it was a, it was a great feeling, um, you know, playing with the top quarterback, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation. So that was also a great feeling, you know, then winning state was another great, great. Where were you playing on defense? Um, corner. You said corner? Yeah, a little bit of corner. So who would be a better corner right now, you, Dre, or no? I'd give it to them boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's what I play. I'm uh, receiver now. That's right. So, you know, now you now from high school, you dip out to Michigan State and like 100,000 people watching you live in person. You got the nation watching you. You play in Michigan right. and you show out against Michigan, man. Well, OK, first of all, what was it like for you to play in that environment? And then what was it like for you to have that type of game? Um, to play in that environment? OK, at the time it was COVID. So, you know, we didn't, it wasn't much fans there. It wasn't no fans, but you know, just to have family and, you know, just to be there and that experience, it was a great feeling. Um, I stepped up, played big. Um, shout out to, you know, my teammates at the time that was there. But, you know, it was, it was a real great feeling. It was a big rivalry, so, you know, after that game, it was, it was a lot of, you know, commotion going around the city of East Lansing. So, it was a great feeling, though. So, David Street, what's the big difference between East Lansing and Las Vegas? Um, Las Vegas is a bigger city. You have more fun here? Yeah. Right. <laughs> weather too. You can say the weather. I'd say the biggest thing is the weather. Cold, yeah. hot, obviously. We well, haven't been here in the winter yet. It gets cold. Oh, I, I actually didn't know that. How it, cold get, it, gets? it gets cold. Like, I mean, it's done snowed here. No, that's, that's yes, it not true. Seriously. I do. Yes, it is. Really? We're gonna, I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay. What drew you to UNLV initially? Would it like, obviously you said Harrison recruited you mm -hmm. from high school there. I mean, I, I, I would assume, and I think everybody would assume that like having Harrison here played a role in it. Right. But like, what made you settle on UNLV being in that school for you? Um, I would say, you know, talking to Coach, you know, Aurora, Coach, Coach Krause, you know, their pass and, you know, the office they ran at Oregon, I feel like it was the best fit, you know, and their style of football, how they play, you know, getting the, the receivers, the playmakers, the ball, you know, spread offense. Just that, those are the key, you know, key things that helped me get here. So, also Harrison too, but, you know, just building a relationship with the coaching staff here, and that was one of the things, so. What, um, what have you learned about this offense since you've been here? Because you say it was a good fit, you know, natural fit. And obviously, you can play X, Y, you can slide and slide to the slot. Mm -hmm. You know, what have you learned about it that makes you, that you didn't know heading into it? Um, pro style, pro style, real pro style offense, very fast paced, um, everything moves fast, so, you know, you just got to know exactly what you're doing at the right time and, you know, just play with confidence. So you, you don't lack confidence. Nah, not at all. You got to have it playing this game. Well, I, to. the touchdown against Idaho State, the 72 yarder, and I texted you this, and I'll pull the current back, I texted Ricky after, you know, later on that evening. Yeah. And I was like, were you laughing at the dude after you caught the ball running by him? Mm -mm, I wasn't. It looked like it. Yeah, it might have been. I wasn't laughing at him, though. Know. <laughs> <laughs> if I was, you would have told me, huh? Yeah, I would have. OK, I'm making sure. <laughs> you know, um, grow, you know, you've grown up in Georgia. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of great receivers that have done played in Georgia. Before your time, like Andre Rising, but then you had, you know, Julio Jones or Roddy White um, that played with the Falcons. Were those guys that you looked up to and you wanted to pattern your game after Earl? I would say that, yeah, watch it. Um, yeah, growing up, hey, I, I would say that. I actually would say that. People like Julio, um, outside of, you know, um, even people that, that, that live in Georgia, I trained with a few guys that, that worked out, you know, with some of my trainers that I know back at home, people like Calvin Ridley. So just watching them picking up, and Stefan did also, just watching them picking up, you know, little, little things from that game, you know, helped me, I would say. What do you pattern your game after? Um, Stefan Diggs. 
You yeah. see him go off against uh, my uh, the <laughs> opening week. That, that actually like turned me up for uh, the, the past the, Saturday game. The Cal game? Yeah. Man, that the, the Cal game, man, like you didn't obviously didn't have the type of game that you had, you know, against Idaho State. Um, you and I talked about missed opportunities. Uh, is there any one play for you that stands out that you could have made that you thought maybe could have been just uh, you know a decisive factor in that game? Um, that, that first go ball that I had, um, you know, I, I did drop it, but I, I feel like those balls I, I, I make all the time, so I gotta you know keep making those plays, stuff like that. So it was definitely that that one go ball though. What what's your favorite route to run? Favorite route? I said a go ball. Yeah. Yeah. Just throw it up. Yeah, just, just throw it up. I'm gonna go get it. Every time. Every see. Every time. Okay. So now you say that. Yeah. So going I'm, forward. I'm gonna show it though. I'm gonna show it every week. I'm gonna show it. Okay. What? What's something that about the complex that we're in, the Fertitta complex? You mm -hmm. know, obviously there's a difference between what you had in East Lansing in here. What? What's some of the, the differences between the two? Um, I wouldn't really say it's, it's no different. You know. Basically, they're really the same. You know, uh, nutrition's right. You know, dietitians, they, they make sure we eat right. Give, give us the right things after we work out, practice, stuff like that. So, I wouldn't really say that there's a difference with it to me. Have your, has your family been out here yet for the games? Yes. My mom and my dad. They like Vegas? Yeah, they do. My dad, he, he, be, he be out here a lot. Really? Yeah, even before I even, you know, was thinking about coming here, going here, anything, he likes to gamble, so. <laughs> man so growing up in in georgia and in las vegas obviously you know it's different in terms of city size and everything um i know a little bit about that from my past what have you what have you like what's something that about vegas that you really just did that you you think is like all right this is this is lit um i would say like just the, the big buildings and everything it's i would say the city the great city the city is great um you know, look nice, the views, everything about the city is just great to me. Like even when, even when I first came here, um, I took an official and I, I was just like excited, you know, just like wow, basically just, that was my second time here. I, my first time here, we um, were from my high school. Pylon? No, everyone from Southern so we, we had one state, we had the uh, National Guy Go Bowl. Oh, you played at uh, Gorman? Yeah. Going. Okay. But we didn't really get to view the city much because we were here for football. So, what have you done? As Coach Royal sits in and looks at us, what have you done differently from Michigan State to here? Um, I would say just, just work harder. You know, every day. I feel like I don't want to speak on you know the past and everything, but just, just be, being working harder, basically being able to do things a lot more. You know. Some more mature, right? Basically, grew up a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can call me sir. You yeah. never called me sir before. Yeah. You know, one of the things is, as a former receiver, you know, obviously people talk about a lot of different things. The spin of the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands is one of them. Um, obviously, Doug's left-handed. Harrison, Cam, the rest of the quarterbacks, Geek, they're not. Yeah. Uh, do you have any? Is there any difference to you when the ball's coming out? You not catch at all. me. If it's in the air, I'm going to get it. It's a ball. It's a ball. What matchup are you looking forward to going against going forward? As in team wise? Or no, just like you one on one against the corner. Is there any corner in the country you want you would love to go up against? Mm, nah, anybody can get it really. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm really waiting on that, that Notre Dame game. I feel like we all is just because, you know, we feel like it's a statement game. Um, it's crazy because I heard them boys schedule us for their homecoming too, which is so no, no. Disrespectful? Disrespectful. So we, we got something for them. Ricky said they got something for the Irish. Hey, look, I'm, I, I'm with you on that. I'm not a Notre Dame fan at all. Can't stand them. So delicacies, food-wise, you know, Atlanta's got some great food. Yeah. I, I, you said I love Atlanta. Georgia in general has great food. Right. Is there somewhere in Vegas that you really dig that you, you have to, when you go out and eat, it's like, yeah, like a go-to spot for Ricky White? As in fast food restaurant? Or Either one, fast food or restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I, I like Mr. Fries. I eat there a lot, you know. Shout out Steve, Mr. Fries. Um, I would say Lavo. I tried Lavo for, for my, my first time coming here. You know, I love that restaurant now. Yeah? Yeah, one of my favorite restaurants. <laughs> I'm, I'm an Italian guy too, I like pasta, so. Me too. Yeah, I love pasta. 
Where, where, have you had, where spot out here have you gone to that you have had the best of times with for you? Brio is another place. Like Brio? Yep. Um, Yard House. Oh man, see, I gotta take him to some real Italian joints, man. I can't <laughs> yeah, take you, but you gotta go. I, I would give you some spots. Yeah, what's, you know? it, what's, what's one good spot? Piero's. Piero's. That's in the, in the hotel. Yeah. No, it's not in a hotel. It's down the block. Um, the one across the way. Oh, Ferraro's. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, that's Ferraro's. That, oh, that one spot, spot's good too. Okay. But Piero's is a spot where. You, I think we actually just went to a, um, a place like that, a receiver group. Yeah, I think I you get. What it was called. I'm not sure. That's the one that's like the lights is down this side. Yes. Like okay, yes. yeah, we did to go there. The food was great. I'm gonna tell you another good spot, Capos. Capos. I haven't been there. So it's like a it's called a speakeasy. Okay. So you go up in there, like it's a different walkway to get in. Mm-hmm. And then when you come in, all the lights are dim. It's like old old school like mafia type restaurant. Okay. They always got some mob movies playing through on the TVs and everything. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I gotta too. try them out there. Them two restaurants. See, I didn't know Ricky's a pasta guy. Who would have thought? Love, pasta. love it. Man, so I know, I know growing up, um, football is is a way out for people, but what made you fall in love with football? Um, just seeing it, you know, playing the sport, growing up a lot. Um, I, I played it all my life basically, so I actually played basketball too, so it was, it was split between those two, but you know, just I just kept going hard with football already. Uh, got my first offer my junior year. And I, after that, I just knew it was go time from there. It was like, gotta be fully committed. And just, you know, put in the work every day to get where I want to be, so. Who's the best hooper on the UNLV team? Uh, I haven't seen everybody hoop, but I'd say me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say me. We might have to, after this season's put together like a, a little game. A little, yeah, a little, little five v five game. Or maybe it's, yeah, like a little like above the rim style, mm-hmm. except no shootings afterwards <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Friday, all the Fridays. Yeah, for real. I, I don't watch them over a hundred times. See, all like comedies Fridays. and stuff? Yeah, a little comedy. Man. All right, so Rick, I want you to look at the camera and go ahead and talk to you and LV fans and everybody that wants a little bit more about Rick Wright. Tell them what you got in the store the rest of the way. Mm. Man, we, we go put on the show every week. Um, you know, we working, stacking days every day. Um, we working hard in the weight room, off the field, in the classroom, everything. So we gonna make sure, you know, we, we put on for everybody that's, you know, that supports us. So, well, it's a brother. long year, long year for sure. Bowl game coming out that. You heard it first, Most bowl definitely. game and all that. Most definitely. Man, continued health, success. My guy, Ricky White, love him to death, man. Have a good time with Rick. Uh, that's it this week for the locker room inside the Fertitta Football Complex. I'm Joe Arrigo. That's Ricky Wright. Check us again next week on Franchise Sports Media. All right.